Ghana is working towards being the container hub for West Africa. The country says it's rehabilitating and extending its port to 3.7 million tons capacity per month. This was disclosed as the country gave its report on the floor of the ECOWAS parliament in Abuja. Moyo Thomas reports. Clement so, Kofi Humado, yeah, who read the Ghana's time, report, says the country is experiencing some trade challenges with its neighbors majorly because of the closure of the Nigeria-Benin border. Ghana insists the closure infringes on the provisions of the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme and wants ECOWAS to react. We believe that Nigeria may have good reasons for taking such an action, but the measures definitely infringe on the provision of the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme called the ETLS. Whatever be the reason, the situation needs to be resolved as quickly as possible. For the medium to long term, Ghana's delegation wishes to propose that the present mandate of the task force on ETLS, headed by the former president of Niger, be expanded to become an office of the trade ombudsman. In defense of Nigeria's closure of its borders, Minister of Foreign Affairs had at a recent tripartite meeting said the policy was to protect the country's economy. He argued that countries smuggling banned products and weapons into Nigeria have already breached the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme. This argument was re-echoed by Nigeria's member of the ECOWAS parliament. Nigeria has for a long time allowed its borders to, be, to, to remain porous simply because we believe that we are the big brother. We can't continue this big brother thing forever. The economy of this country needs to be well, well looked after. Uh, imports and export are, uh, exports are encouraged, imports are also encouraged, but illegal importation certainly cannot work. Any Mali, who also presented its country report, says the recent security situation has caused a dysfunction of its state institutions and a disintegration of national cohesion. The terrorist attacks in Mali are still ongoing with its barrage of loss of lives. On the night of Sunday 29th to Monday 30th of September 29th, the Bulkesi farmer camp and the Mondoro military post in the Mopti region were violently attacked by jihadists, leading to the death of about 40 Malian soldiers and material losses. Members of the ECOWAS parliament will deliberate on issues jointly affecting the sub-region and make recommendations to the ECOWAS Council of Ministers. Moya Thomas, CVC News, Abuja.